Hey guys, it's Bryce Salk from Edge of Infinity Gaming, here to bring you a new video about the state of the world that we are using in our Let's Play Quest for the Elytra. Since the last time that we've recorded Minecraft, our server slash world has changed drastically. Now, what I mean is, our... Since the last time that we recorded Minecraft, this world has changed a lot. We've done a lot of things, but none of them were really interesting enough to record. These things include farming for Endermen, and building houses and upgrading our our server in many ways such as additional buildings so that is like all we've done for the past several weeks what we did before was we stockpiled on a bunch of videos and we set them on a schedule so in reality we haven't recorded in a month or two so what you're about to see is a lot of work that's been put into it that we just didn't find worthy enough to put on our channel because we didn't want to bore you guys. Now some people are into building and that's that's fine. We might do some speed builds in the future, but this isn't what we had in mind, so we didn't bother to accord. Alright, so what I want to show you guys is the various changes that have been made in the server. First off, we've had some guests move in, some real life friends named Goat Cheese and Curly Kiwi. Some of you guys probably remember this little hut as my house. Well, I got sick and tired of Jay Vance having a nicer house than I, so I decided to move. And since then, Giraffe decided that she wanted some cobblestone, and she had at it. Now, I had given this house to um, uh, Goat Cheese, but he decided that he didn't want to live there and moved over here, and he built a massive tower so that he could uh, remember where it was. Now, the top of the tower is a little platform that we would fly up to and spawn him up there and then de-off him so he couldn't switch to creative mode. We're kind of jerks. Which explains the creeper holes over here that we let from when we led the creepers to his house. So, this is his house right here. Right here. His name is Goat Cheese. We sometimes refer to him as Ian, but his real name is just Goat Cheese. Just a real basic house. It's real basic because Jay Vance blew up his other house and felt bad, so he built him a new one. You can see Jay Vance put Clever Girl right here because he thought that I hid my chest over here. And I hid my chest because him and Curly Kiwi have been ransacking my chest for no reason. Well, not no reason. They just kept stealing all my shit and I got tired of it. So I hid them. Here we have our sugarcane plantation farm, whatever it is. That has been going on for a while, obviously. And this is the wall of Jay Vance. He was sick of me and Giraffe luring spiders and creepers into his area to kill him. So he fought back with cobblestone and built a wall. Still the normal farm. I keep destroying it by falling on it. My apologies. His house. Just leave all the doors open because I'm a Neanderthal. Some armor. That's been enchanted. We've farmed monsters so that we can level up and stuff like that. Up here we have the nether portal, which I'm pretty sure that you guys already knew about. And an enchanting area. It's nice. Um, and he added an additional farm. That has pumpkins, potatoes, and carrots. He didn't feel like that was enough, so he also designed a ranch, which has a crap load of cows and pigs and sheep and chickens never have so many farm animals been packed together in a confined place so efficiently 
And over here we have the mine, the public mine shaft, which we dug legitly. It took us a very long time to dig this, and it felt like a good achievement because we spent our time doing it by hand instead of going into creative mode. Next we have Desiree's home, or Giraffe as you guys know her. It's still the same way it was before except it's a little larger. She has a mine shaft down there. And she decided to Ooh. You well you can see the water coming out. It's really noisy, it's kind of annoying. But there's a second story as well that leads up to her greenhouse, I guess is what this would be. Then the lava pit, which is a nice touch. This is Curly Kiwi's home. She's one of the new members. I should totally let her horse out. And here's a dark room that I built for her because she kept asking for mushrooms. One of the coolest features about her house is in this room, though. Flip this leather, whatever, <laughs> lever, and you have a little shower. Oh, stop it! You're watching me bathe, you little thick pervert! I'm all dirty and shit! Stop looking! So that's nice. You can get clean after a hard day of mining. You get all that coal grime on you. Chicken. I don't remember the chicken's name. I should totally. I killed her other chicken. She wasn't very happy. Let's turn the audio down because it's annoying. She has her armor set up. A nice little picture and lava above the ceiling because that's safe. A bunk bed. And a bridge connecting my home to hers. This wall was in uh, this wall was originally planned to be 100% legit. I built the first layer that you're s this this right here. I built it 100% legitly. And then J Vance decided that hey, I'm going to help Brian out. So he went into creative mode and got what he believed to be cobblestone. Well, that shit wasn't cobblestone. He finished the whole damn wall. And part of Kiwi's house until he realized it was silverfish egg. So we went into survival mode and we were walking around and there were like hundreds of silverfish attacking our shit until we got tired of it and we're like, hey, you know what, to hell with this, these are all silverfish. We tore it all down and completely restarted and we built that. We built all this with creative, but I did have the resources saved up. I probably had enough cobblestone to build build this. I mean, I spent hours mining cobblestone. So, let's take a tour of my house. Obviously, we have the wall, which you can climb on top of. On the inside, it's just a bunch of uh, windows and areas that I can shoot people with arrows. I like it, though. It's a nice touch, I think. Here we have my house, which you've seen before. Oh, I forgot to show you the, the lava, but I think you've seen that before as well. So here's the first floor. Um, and here's the basement. This is where I used to hide all of my chests. In this room right here that you probably can't see because, what do you know, it's just a painting covering an empty hole. This is where I hid all my junk until Jay Vance thought he was going to be clever and he asked me to get something for him. I did not know he was following me, and he watched me go in. So I had to move all of it, and it's in a different location now, but I'm not going to tell you where, because he's going to watch the video. This is the second floor. It's really just a viewing area of the server. The third floor. Nice little sunroom area. Fourth floor really nothing. Fifth floor is the final floor, and it's seriously just just a floor. Then on the left and the right I have towers, which have uh, windows, which I thought were really cool. And then rooms, just for shooting people, mostly. And a drawbridge that connects the two. And, uh, and a tip-top roof that I can kill myself on if I want. I really like the drawbridge, like, rope bridge kind of thing that I have going on. 
What I really like over here on this side is this balcony that I could totally kill myself on. But I have it, uh, I have water down there so that I can just have a quick kind of jump down. So, I believe that's really pretty much it. We have a little farm over here. We really didn't do much to the server, uh, other than... Okay, we did a shitload to the server, but we didn't do much to uh, the experience. Like, we still have done, like, nothing that would really further our mission of getting the elytra and finishing the game. Other than, you know, we killed a few endermen here and there, so we have about, like, 20 ender eyes. Other than that... Oh, we also have some, like, nether items, such as blaze rods and blaze crap. But other than that, it's just cosmetic stuff. So I just didn't want you guys to be super confused next time we played. Like, what the hell? Am I missing some episodes? No. You're caught up. We just didn't record any of it because, you know, we didn't want to bore you. Thank you guys for taking the time to watch this. And I hope that it helped you to realize, hey, uh, there's not much that's happened. The only thing that's drastically changed is some of the items that we have. For instance, I have enough diamond to make a sword and pickaxe and some other tools. Originally, we had planned on building all of this, um, legitly. And a lot of it we did, but some of this harder stuff, like building up in the air, we did use creative mode. But we have a bunch of resources. It's not like that we just spawned in a bunch of stuff. We've only spawned in cosmetic items. We've not spawned in anything like armor or materials. Just building blocks. So I don't want you guys thinking like, oh hey, these guys cheated. This this isn't legit. Because it, it totally is. The experience is 100% legit. The buildings aren't. Anyway, thank you guys again for taking the time to watch this video. I hope that you guys enjoyed it. I would appreciate it if you guys would just take your time to scroll down a little bit and rate the video. Either a thumbs up or a thumbs down. Either way it helps us quite a bit because it helps us to realize what we're doing wrong and what we're doing right. And I would like to know that so we can help bring you guys better content in the future. Now I'm never going to be one of those people that are just whoring themselves for likes because I totally appreciate a dislike as much as a like. So go down there and rate. It'll take two seconds of your time, please. Also, if you have any suggestions on what content you'd like to see in the future of the Edge of Infinity Gamers, then please feel free to leave a comment. I'll try to respond to every single one, uh, unless it's an obvious troll comment. And thank you guys again, from the bottom of my heart. I truly appreciate you guys taking the time to watch our videos. I hope it brings a little joy to your day. And if it makes you smile at all, I mean, we've done our job. Thank you guys for watching, and now we must go on into the infinity. I didn't think we could fall in love Broken from the star, chained to our path